In this video from Zach's Investing for Beginners, we dive into the best ways to start picking stocks. How to start picking stocks is a question that investors ask themselves constantly, and the question really has no right answer. The best way to realize there are no right answers is that when someone sells a stock, they're not selling it back to the company unless it's in the form of a stock buyback. Instead, another investor sees some value in that stock at that price. To a shrewd investor, certain stocks at certain prices may represent value and an opportunity to profit. The basic idea is to understand what you want to get out of a stock. If you want a steady source of income, then search for established companies that pay a dividend. The reason is simple. A dividend is the only way to profit from a stock unless you're selling your stock to realize your returns. These are always good to have in your portfolio and can help you hedge against market downturns. The reason is that companies that pay a dividend will do everything in their power to continue to pay a dividend and even try to raise them periodically because not paying or lowering a dividend signals that a company could be headed in the wrong direction and send the stock tanking. There are many other types of investments as well. Value investments represent the best bang for your buck and are often considered cheap. Or you can swing for the fences and search for stocks that are set to boom. These could be in the form of young tech companies or a firm that has been around for a while that has found new life after a downturn. Investors can also look for stocks that have been going up lately. These stocks are known as momentum stocks. All in all, it is worth noting how important it is to diversify your holdings. So, decide how much money you're willing to invest and then begin to allocate it into different pockets of investment strategies, such as value, growth, momentum, and income. You can do this by searching around and looking at different index websites such as the S&P 500, or you can use a stock screening tool like the one we have on Zacks.com. These allow you to pick from hundreds of options and criteria to help you select stocks. Once you become more familiar with various investment strategies, you will discover what type of investor you are, and this will make it easier to find the right stocks for you going forward. And that does it for us on Zacks Investing for Beginners. Make sure to watch our other videos on Zacks' YouTube channel, and be sure to subscribe and leave any comments below.